Thank you for this one. This is it. Life, universe, victory, supreme recipe. All hate, rest in peace. Sir, you love these by peace. Until we puzzled up Picasso and drop all shells like eating soft tacos. Cause these streets wanna snipe me, so I move fast as lightning. Wing Chun, Tai Chi, grapple grip, then I split. Hardly ever like to split. First, like to bring up Mohammed Langston, who's the photographer of Glimpse. Where are you, Mohammed? There you are. Okay, and he's just gonna say a couple words. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you all here. And I'll step up. <laughs> Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you all here. It's very exciting. I don't know if you ever created something and just crafted and put so so much time and efforts into it, and then to see it just come into fruition. So it's um, it's beautiful to have you all here and be able to witness in that, especially when you have these sort of gatherings where people are coming to learn about each other. And this cause, Understanding Race Project, where we're able to step beyond the bounds of differences. And so um, it's important that we be advocacy of these sorts of events and efforts so that way we we, uh, uh, we, we we develop compassion and understanding of each other because what we find like so for instance I'm sort of like down in heart right now because of what's going on in Palestine but it's an issue of difference um, on top of a number of other things historically but um, the greater cause at the root is just difference and when you have difference, there's misunderstanding, and there's miscommunication, there's heartbreak, there's suffering. So again, my heart out to Palestine, and I also want to thank you all for coming here tonight. So I actually first began an interest in photography when I was doing web design back in middle school, actually. About 2001, I was learning basic HTML, and I would go and follow these other websites of um, like bloggers, particularly expatriates who would go overseas and specifically Japan. And so one of my favorite sites was Full Tokyo and it was by a guy named Chris from Canada. And he was running this site and he was a photographer. And I just always found his photography fascinating. And then I had this overarching fascination with uh, Japan as well. And so just the photography and the web design, it was just like a match made in heaven. And it was just the most enchanting thing for me ever. And then I used to follow this other site called Sushi Cam, which is still running this day, I believe. And it was a wonderful site, I always enjoyed it. And the guy who was running that site was an expatriate from the UP of Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. And I just found that so ironic that he happened to be from Michigan, like myself. And so I was just an avid follower of these sites. I used to love the different uh, compositions, angles, and textures. Just the way you can bend and capture light with photography. I just always found that fascinating. So that's really what's like my introduction to photography. After being enchanting, enchanted and uh, finding different inspirations, I got behind the lens and I started photographing around the time I started breakdancing. So this is about 2003 now. And it was important to me because this is uh, probably the inauguration of my use of Photoshop. And I would create these graphics of different breakdancing poses and it was just like the most fascinating thing ever. And then I would say in about 2005, um, when I took my first trip to Japan, I really explored as much as I could. And it was just an oasis of so many things to photograph and it's such a, a, an abundance of inspiration that I found from the blogs I used to follow from back in the day of expatriates in Japan. It was just this catalyst of wanting to just photograph any and everything. But I was very selective about my photography. And I always appreciated that because I knew the difference between digital and film as I had experience with both of them. Um, I always tried to emulate a film sort of uh, shooting experience and photographing with a digital camera. So that was just some of the early beginnings of my photography. And um, I would say um, that was some, definitely some of my greatest joy in photography, traveling and photographing. I would say this project in particular differs a great deal because there's an objective and a goal. Not to say that my, a lot of my other work, I don't have a goal or objective. There's a lot of times I, I do definitely. Um, that's the case. But with this project, the Understanding Race Project, Race Are We So Different, it incorporated me going and finding 22 people from different backgrounds, ethnic groups, genders, age, religious affiliation, and photographing them. In addition to that, posing three questions related to race, racial relations in the community, race building, and what does race mean in their life. And um, I really appreciate it. Uh, 
when it comes to things of this nature about ethnicity, cultural boundaries, globalization, uh, I would say a lot of this is pretty much one and the same. I have a great affinity for this and just learning and knowing about different cultures and seeing a way to bring and build compassion, not just tolerance, but compassion and see these bridges. And so um, with this project with the University of Michigan Museum of Natural History and the Anthropological Association of America, I just had a lot of fun with it and I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, but I would say it was just different by the objective that we had with this museum and the overarching conjunction of the Anthropological Association of America. Sincerely care, Allah's my witness As long as I'm here, you should never feel uh -huh. lonely Just reach out, you know my love is real and never phony So whether in great spirit or a bad situation We can share thoughts through any form of communication Give you words of wisdom from divine inspiration I'll never pass judgment and always practice patience And if ever you're in trouble, know you got me Get the message and actually act upon it I'm your comrade, family, brother, I hope you're feeling me Shouldn't be ashamed, conversation is therapy Open up, pour your heart out, free your mind Then we'll get up, celebrate and ride out in the sunshine And if ever you're in trouble, know you got me Cause we're 